first time we took Adrian to that cute little island with only one umbrella on it. And we got chatting to the owner of the bar built entirely on conch shells. And with all the local music, Adrian got his groove on. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Back at St. Vincent, we grabbed a mooring ball again under Fort Duveret as it was almost time for Adrian to fly back home. Again. Mm, that's Oh, I'm not seeing you anymore. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. On our way back from his PCR test, we stumbled upon this place. It's an old ATC tower, which I converted into a bar. So we talked to the ATC and they closed the runway just for us. And now we're busy with. <laughs> they diverted all the flights that were supposed to land here and now it's a board. She's controlling all the flights. Yeah. So when you were underneath Fort Duveret, you just get this urge to go climb it. So Adrian and I went all the way up where he had loads of fun with his drone and Frick decided to rather indulge in a couple of beers at the bottom. And there's no way I can fix it. Yeah, yeah, I even got a beer from him. Look. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, canal. Oh, friend oh. saying goodbye. Adrian. Until we Cheers. meet again. The music is not ever. Cut, cut. Pilot sales. Naughty boys. Yeah, bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye, please. Yeah, it works. Bye. We just woke up, lifted the anchor, or actually just dropped the mooring ball. And so that is St. Vincent. Sun is just up. So we now need to pass all the way past St. Vincent. And then that direction is the British Virgin Islands, the BVI. So we've got our sails up. Not that we're doing a great speed, it's also not that we have great wind. So the wind is around 9 and we do around well, 5.8. So we're doing great. But you know what I said? That story about the canaries, eh? You cannot find one canary in the canaries. And it's the same with the Virgin Islands. You can also not find any canaries there. Let's go find out. The answer is over there. We started the engines because look, absolutely no wind. <laughs> and all the weather models at this moment says at least, at least 15 knots. And this is the 15 knots they're talking about. And just like that, we've got wind. Lots of wind. Check this out. So the sea looks a little bit more white caps, which means we are definitely over 15 knots of true wind speed. So we reef. We now on the reef one. <laughs> just like that, from nothing. So lots of water coming over the bow. <laughs> oh, sailing is nice. I love it. And so we 
got something like oh well that says 20 knots 20 knots through wind and we do around 8.9 8.3 and the wind is oh man the reflection is bad I think <laughs> but they are we are sailing full on <laughs> ah! the sun is out sails is out and we're doing okay not too bad for 15 knots through wind and we're making good progress. That's yes, quite flying. Fishing lines is out. Not making movie, not cooking. Mm. I am going to try something I've never done before. We're from South Africa. Oh, we love our sausage casings. Burros. So we're going to try and make it on Sisu. Because um, you can't find it anywhere. You can't buy it anywhere. Wow. Kampfir Wurst. This spice we bought in South Africa. Because we've got unique sausage spice. Because there's a lot of um, coriander in. And my biggest problem that I've had is to get casings um, the local butchers wherever we've been so far just refused to sell me any so mr captain frick bought it on amazon and they are real casings it's not artificial casings so i'm very chunky and i found my brother-in-law he's on a farm in port elizabeth at home and he's got a huge butchery on the farm and he sort of gave me pointers of what and how and everything so here goes nothing Peter is going to make some wolves. So we came here. And lots of a real butcher shop. Okay, so the procedure is Worcester sauce, water, vinegar, and then you add the spice that we bought in South Africa, full of coriander. Next is trim the meat first, the beef, and then you cube it. And then what I mixed in as well is pork. So again, you cube that, and then the yucky, but the fat, but you need that. Won't you say? Comment below on how to open the casings. Quickly. <laughs> yeah, quickly before we started going overboard with rum or something. <laughs> okay, so that was the end of attempt number one, as the casings were way too small. We are doing attempt number two. So the first one, the size of the casings. Could not fit over here, so let's see. Petra has new casings. We got it from a butcher. Uh, Afrikaans butcher in Rotown, BVI. Now she's making it. Oh, look at that. It's making all sorts of. It also looks easy. Much easier. Check this out. Wow. It looks great. Okay, so back to sailing again. The rest of the trip was more cooking, some cool sailing, and more cooking. And that's how the whole trip went. Oh, look at that. Our VMG even is eight. My golly gosh, goodness. And we're doing good. So this is our second night. And we 
we hope to be there tomorrow, but we're not sure whether we will be able to check in. I mean, in the beginning it looked so great, we would have been even too early. We were thinking of even slowing down, but since the journey is still, or the passage is still young, we decided, oh, carry on. And now it seems like we will not make it for check-in time, closing time for the customs or immigration. And then we have to do that silly PCR antigen thing as well. So we might only be able to check in and BBI in two days from now. So it will be a three days passage, not just 48 hours. So this is it. I think the last night. Um, tomorrow night we will be at anchor in Tortolo, West End. That's where the email said we need to go to, so we will go to West End and find the anchor spot there. But up here is, if I look at the chart, there's so many funny things happening, like exercise areas or aircraft areas or fishery areas as well. It seems like not sure whether we're allowed to take shortcut through it or not. I don't know. So when we get closer, we will see. So the sun is coming up. The back of this nice, very nice view. A very nice sunrise. So hopefully this is our last day, and hopefully we will be able to to reach the custom office in time. <laughs> A check. We've gone wing on wing to the main and we are every now and then one of the waves, one of the swells is turning us away from the 180 and then that up. So it's not always so good. to the BVI. Looks like a red Christmas flag as well. Yeah. The day be last night, well you late yesterday afternoon. And it's a it's a, one of those bucket ticklers things for me. I've never been to the BVI's before and I didn't know what to expect. And it kind of reminds me of Turkey. Just where we are at the moment. We are in um, Jos, Jos van Dijk <laughs> Island. Jos van Dijk. And um, so the whole surrounding here reminds me a lot of Turkey, but it's very pretty here. But very expensive. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to stay here a long while. Or we, <laughs> we cannot get drunk here, only bankrupt. <laughs> we will preload on Sisu. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we only have so much. This is the place where we can make rum. <laughs> and it will be definitely be cheaper. We should bring up the still that has been working for a while, but this is a good time to bring it Yeah. <laughs> I think henceforth we will be making our own drink, drinks. Yeah. Anyway. Won't you stay? Thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.